Hey everyone, it's Melissa with the M Word. This is actually gonna be a collaboration with Melissa and Molly. And, and I'm running super late. I was actually supposed to do this video already. It's up in like less than an hour. And I still have to get my supper ready for tonight too. And I'm still gonna try to get it thrown in the crock pot because I'm sure we'll eat late with everything that's been going on. But I dropped my dollar off at ballet and I was running late to that. So I didn't start this before that. We got home and my daughter, my youngest daughter accidentally got her finger stuck in the car door when she shut the car door. So we dealt with all that. And now I need to go get my other daughter in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try to throw together my, our potato soup recipe in about 10 minutes. So let's hope. I can manage this. So to make it slightly healthier, I throw in two bags of rice cauliflower because nobody even knows they're in there. And it really doesn't matter what kind of rice cauliflower. Sometimes I have my own cauliflower that I grew in the garden. Sometimes I have this stuff. It doesn't matter. And I throw in a can of cream of chicken. I might throw in two cans just to try to get more of it in there. And then it needs a whole thing of chicken broth three or four potatoes. These are pretty good sized potatoes. I'm going to cut these kind of like horse strings or uh, shoe string or hash brownie like so they kind of mix in more with the rice rice cauliflower and then you don't really quite notice. I have also in the past used a thing of frozen hash browns with nothing else in them and those work really well too. All right I'm going to throw a little bit of water in there because it was awfully full now. Throw some water in there and then I'll put chicken broth in it when I come back. Toss a little bit of garlic powder in there. I don't really measure anything. I just kind of go. Oh, yeah, not some pepper. And I usually leave salt out because of my husband's heart, but potatoes, for whatever reason, do not taste good without salt. I am going to finish up this. We had to switch it to a pot because I want to eat today. And I obviously had my whole morning or afternoon, all my stuff on me. And she inserts the cream cheese into the soup. Whoa. She cuts up the cream cheese. Whoa. <laughs> That's staying in there. <laughs> it's staying. I open the cream cheese. <laughs> anymore. Poor little Emmy is doing okay. She's got a band-aid on her finger and gave her some Tylenol to help with the pain. Um, I think she'll use, probably lose her fingernail, but um, she'll be okay. Normally, I would put this on the crock pot without the che cream cheese for like six to eight hours. About an hour before supper time, you would put in one thing of cream cheese or two if you're doubling the recipe like I did. And, oh, the dogs are bumping you. And then I would just let it sit in the crock pot for another hour or two and then serve. And the instructions I gave for another hour or two with the cream cheese is in the crock pot on high. My husband likes ham, cheese, and bacon on his. I prefer just cheese and bacon. I finished putting together the bowls with the ham and the bacon. I just happened to have bacon bits on hand, so that's what I used. Like I said, this was a collaboration with Melissa and Molly, and I will leave the playlist below. Thank you so much. Bye.